President Poroshenko, Petro, uh, I'm delighted to welcome you back to Jerusalem, uh, the eternal capital of Israel, to welcome you and your delegation. Uh, this is your third visit to Israel since taking office in 2014, and it's a, a testament to the strong relations between the Ukraine and Israel. Uh, these ties have deep historical and cultural roots. Uh, Ukrainian Jews make up a significant portion of the population of Israel. And Ukraine is home to a large Jewish community. I think it's the fourth largest uh, Jewish community in Europe. Uh, I appreciate your continued efforts to uh, eliminate hate speech and combat anti-Semitism in Ukraine. Uh, during your first official visit to Israel, you addressed the Knesset. And in this uh, wonderful speech, you said something. You quoted uh, a Ukrainian citizen in the airport, actually. You said, uh, going to Israel. He said, is this a domestic or an international flight? <laughs> and uh, Kiev, Tel Aviv. And I think that uh, uh, it's not merely that flights between our two respective countries are frequent and, uh, and indeed full, but it's also a reflection of the full relations between uh, the Jewish community uh, in Ukraine and the Ukrainian Jews who've made Aliyah to Israel who've become an integral part of our society. Uh, I'm also very happy that these flights are filled with businessmen and businesswomen, uh, entrepreneurs, people uh, who seek to expand the investments and the trade between our countries. They have grown, uh, both of them in recent years. Uh, today we're going to do something that will make it grow even bigger. We're about to sign a free trade agreement. We've worked on this for many years. Uh, the bureaucracies have had all the opportunities to uh, prevent this from happening. We overcame it. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank ministers Eli Cohen and Zev Elkin uh, and uh, the first vice premier, uh, vice minister of Ukraine, Stepan uh, uh, Kubiv, uh, for helping us overcome bureaucratic hurdles uh, uh, for, their, for your extensive work to finalize this uh, important agreement. Uh, as you can see from the size of it, it's enormous. It's 1,500 pages, so a lot of effort went into every detail. Uh, during your visit, we'll also talk of uh, other ways to increase our cooperation in a variety of fields, in technology, in health, in aerospace, in science, and more. Uh, we are building a more prosperous future for our people. Each of us is doing it on, on our own, but I think that together we can do even better. And as we seize the future, uh, we must also work to, to advance first innovation, technology, industry, that's the future, but also to work against the forces that wish to drag us into the past because we're part of the same civilization. And this uh, civilization values freedom, liberty, and it values peace. And it's under attack today, most notably by the forces of militant Islam. The most important force of militant Islam is the Iranian regime. It's devouring one nation after the other, Syria, Yemen, Lebanon, Iraq, and it's killing civilians around the world. Uh, yesterday, the Iranian regime launched a missile from Syria targeting civilians in Israel. We responded to this unacceptable act of aggression by striking Iranian targets in Syria. Israel will continue to block Iran's efforts to use Syria, Lebanon, and Gaza as forward basis for attacking Israel for the express purpose which they openly declare destroying Israel. No country should stand aside while its destruction is being planned or advanced. And Israel exercises its basic right of self-defense and preemptive self-defense, a right that exists for every nation. We uh, will continue to take all the necessary acts, actions to protect our people and defend our borders. And we'll continue to respond with force to anyone that tries to harm us. President Poroshenko, in your speech to the Knesset, you also said that you dreamed of a future. Yeah. A future where there is no place for violence and terrorism, but where peace, tolerance, and prosperity rule. Well, I share your vision for this future. And I look forward to our discussions today. I look forward to continuing to work together to build a future that both our people cherish and both our people deserve. Welcome, friend, to Jerusalem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Distinguished Mr. Prime Minister, dear ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me being today in Jerusalem and to meet with a great friend of Ukraine and a great friend of my Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. We, today, it's an absolutely historic day because, as Prime Minister said, 15 long years, hundreds of bureaucrats try to prepare agreement between Ukraine and Israel about free trade. This is very simple, just to remove all the obstacles between the economic ties between Ukraine and Israel. But we do 100 pages per one year. <laughs> Altogether, this is the one and a half thousand pages. And it started to be uh, possible when we met in New York with the Prime Minister, then we met in Paris, yeah. and we said, let's finish that. Let's give one month and finish all the negotiation. And I think I want to thank Minister Elkin, as Deputy Prime Minister Kubiv, and all the team that within one month you fulfill the dreams of Prime Minister and me as a President, and today we have these historic documents. This is very simple. We learn how to defend our country from Israel and to make a strong army. And we learn how to make a prosperity for our people, making a strong economy from Israel. And I think this is a very successful lesson. Today, here in Jerusalem, we sign this agreement, and this is facilitate for the business people, uh, the contact between each other, that would be facilitation for the people to make their life better and easier because price for our product would be cheaper, both Ukrainian products in Israel and Israeli product in Ukraine. And we plan to launch the new agreement about the free trade of services. And I think that would be absolutely great idea to continue this effective cooperation. I want to thank Prime Minister for the effective coordination of uh, action of our diplomats in the international organization. We have an absolutely great success, both in UNESCO, in the United Nations General Assembly, and I want to thank for this very important support from our Israeli friends and partners. Um, absolutely confident that we have activated our cooperation. I thank you very much, dear Mr. Prime Minister, for making my citation from my Knesset speech. And uh, I want to use this opportunity to invite you in Ukraine and to have a speech in our parliament. And then give me a very strong words of the Israeli <laughs> Prime Minister for Don't our next Odessa. meeting. <laughs> and uh, yes, I want to just reconfirm that we agreed with the Prime Minister to go together to Odessa. We have a very important part of the history of Israel in Odessa about the young life of the Jabotinsky. And uh, we agreed to go, go and see and uh, uh, just to demonstrate how the interconnection between our nation, how the interconnection between our people is extremely important for us. Different sphere of our cooperation is still ahead. Agenda of our meeting is very long. And, uh, but again, this is a historic day in the relation between Israel and Ukraine. And the historic day because of the absolutely remove all the barrier in our economic ties. And I want to congratulate you and thank you for this effective cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.